are beginning to irritate me. I'm not afraid of you. Where's Mr. King? You're the detective. Detective. What a creep. Even for a dead guy, I should look around the house for a lead. Mr. King had another message for me. If I wind up the typewriter, I can access its memory and reproduce it.
The King Industries Research Center, a huge art deco building, like something out of a pulp novel. I love pulp novels. It's getting dark. Excuse me, we're closed. How did you even get in here? Look, I'm really sorry, but I had an appointment with Mr. King, and it's urgent. Can you show me to his office? It's upstairs, but Mr. King isn't here. No one's here except me. They, um, they said I had to stay, like, three days ago. You poor thing. You must be so tired, working overtime with nothing to do but sit here. Sounds awful. Ugh, I know. I'm trying to distract myself with mindless tasks, like cutting boxes. But I lost my box cutter. Maybe I can help. Huh, well maybe. Got a pen knife? Nail clippers? Anything. I'm bored out of my mind. What's this? A multi-tool? Looks fun! Yay! I'm going to cut more boxes! Don't go anywhere!
Thank you so much. You helped me a lot. Uh, sure. With what? My name is Iris Birdwood. I'm a private detective. Mr. King, his daughter, and Dr. Magnus are in danger. Oh no, what can I do? It's a top secret project Mr. King was financing, but it was suspended a year ago.
There was an accident. Someone died. One of my boss's colleagues. Mr. King was worried about competitors stealing his design. Gray's blackmailed Mr. King into giving him a bigger cut of the profits. But then he demanded to be the first one to try the dramatorium. Graves got his wish, but there was an accident. He went to sleep and never woke up. I heard rumors, but everyone here kept mum about it. Mr. King was paying for him to stay in the royal suite at the Astoria Hotel. Thanks, you did great. The Astoria Hotel, big, expensive, legendary buffet. High time I treated myself to stay here. Purely for the sake of the investigation, of course. I'm thinking the Royal Suite. Hello there, Iris Birdwood, Private Detective. If you're here about the issue with our cheese bar, I assure you, the criminals have all been caught and punished accordingly. Uh, yes. Yes, I am. I'm here to make sure there are no further problems with the, uh, <clears throat> cheese bar. I'd like the royal suite. Are you aware the police have sealed the bedroom of that suite after a recent accident involving one of our other guests? It's very important to my client that I at least see it. Do you think you could let me sneak in there for a moment? I'll be quick. Unfortunately, no. I can let you see the suite, but not the bedroom. Fine. Take the elevator. The royal suite is on the top floor.
Meet again, detective. I know what happened to you, Graves, and that you need all five crystals to re enter the Dreamatorium. Then you also know you have no choice but to give them to me. Even if I do, you still won't have the fifth crystal. And you don't know where it is. I'll help you, but only if you let me speak to Dr. Magnus. You do not dictate terms to me. That is one stubborn ectoplasm.
You think you've got this all figured out, don't you? I have the crystals you need. Let me help you by helping me. Meet me at the Dramatorium Lock with the crystals. Deal. Once you tell me where Magnus is... Asleep in his bedroom. As he said he would be. Go, wake him up. I need him to operate the Dramatorium anyway. Magnus! What happened? Where am I? Don't worry, you're at home. Graves put you to sleep. Everything's hazy. Where's Lara? Graves has her, and Mr. King. He wants to use the Dreamatorium to resurrect himself. Impossible. I decommissioned the Dreamatorium myself. B but, but he doesn't know that. Maybe we can trap him inside. Banish him. For good. It will be difficult. I'll need all five crystals. And the Dreamatorium handle. I have three of the crystals. Graves has one. Neither of us has the fifth. It pulls the door open. What else? I disassembled it and hid the pieces around the room. I'll meet you in the library.
Now, how about the crystals? No, I have three and Graves has one. The white crystal. I couldn't find crystal number five. I was hoping you could help. Only Mr. King knew where the crystals were, and we can't exactly ask him. If you have something that belonged to Mr. King, my amulet could help. This clock. It was a gift from him for graduating from my internship. Nothing. I didn't receive a vision from my amulet. Wait, that amulet, where did you get it? I found it during a case. Saved my career, actually. I wasn't doing so hot before that. Come to think of it, the victim of that case was an employee of King Industries. I only ask because it looks identical to the Dreamatorium crystals. What if your amulet is the last crystal? Couldn't hurt to try it out. See if it fits. Open the dreamatorium. As we agreed. I will, Graves. Just give me your crystal and I'll open it. Let me in. Back to the realms beyond, where he belongs. Let's hope he stays there. Lara and Mr. King are in the lobby. Miss Birdwood, I owe you the deepest gratitude for saving me from those awful dreams. Just doing my job. But maybe at some point, when you're feeling awake enough, we could discuss my payment. I'm sorry you lost your amulet. I read an article about it in the paper. Sounds neat. I've still got my intuition. If there's anything else I can do, give me a ring. There is. Try to be more careful with your next invention.